the lowest bar in the world where you can stop by to get a cool fresh drink. Humans are the reason that the Dead Sea is diminishing. So now I'm gonna invite you to go ahead and take a dip with me. Hello everybody, Danielle here, and today you could find me in the Dead Sea in Israel. This is a place that a lot of people love to come visit and is definitely something that you wanna check out when you come here to Israel. Join me as we take a dip in the Dead Sea, learn some of the history, have some fun. Let's go. So as you can see, the opening hours here are from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, there is a parking fee if you have a car for 50 shekel. You're also able to rent some beach chairs and umbrellas. There's a shuttle. And then the entrance fee here is 45 shekel for adults, 35 for children. Um, so yeah, not too bad. So here we are walking through. Um, they do have like some restaurants. They also have some stores that sell um, the cosmetic products and they actually have the lowest bar in the whole entire world. As you can see here, a lot of people gathering around to have a little drink. So as you can see here, they do have an option of paying for a beach shuttle. One thing that you can do once you get to the Dead Sea, it is a little bit of a walk to get that to the actual beach so you can go ahead and take a shuttle um, i believe in the price difference you can um, add that on but as you can see you can save this much of a walk here and enjoy the beautiful views direction that you would walk. I think there is another walkway that you can take yeah. too. So we have arrived. As you can see, this is the lowest bar in the world where you can stop by to get a cool fresh drink for this hot sun because it is very hot here. So being the lowest point in the world, um, you know, the lower you are in altitude, the hotter it's going to be, so you can definitely feel that here. So you definitely want to make sure to stay hydrated. You want to bring your sunscreen and just try your best to stay out of the sun for too long. So you can already start to see the black minerals that makes up that dark color mud that a lot of people like to put on their body because it's actually really good for your skin. It's filled with lots of minerals and they make lots of co cosmetic products out of it um, that you can actually purchase while you're here and I know that they sell it all over the world. So just a little bit of history, the Dead Sea is actually the lowest point of altitude in the entire world, which is the reason that it has so much salt. The amount of salt that you can find here is actually 10 times more than the sea, your normal seawater. The reason that they call this the Dead Sea is because actually nothing can live in this water because of the high salt content. And a fun fact, so the Dead Sea is actually shrinking. Each year it loses about one meter of water. And the reason for this, humans. Humans are the reason that the Dead Sea is diminishing. So why do you say? So actually the water that you see here from the Dead Sea comes from the Jordan River. So why are humans the reason that this water is diminishing? So now there's a lot of people that live in this area and what do humans need to consume? They need to consume water. So all that water that comes from the Jordan Sea is actually being taken by humans 
so that way they can make it into drinkable water. The method in which they do this is called desalination. So they take this water here, they filter out all the salt, and they use the rest of it to drink. So the water that's supposed to be coming here to the Dead Sea is actually being taken by these humans and that's the reason that it is shrinking. Alright, so now I'm going to invite you to go ahead and take a dip with me. Let's see how the Dead Sea really feels. I'm super excited about this. This is one of the things that I was actually looking forward to most when visiting Israel. So let's check it out. Oh, the water is super warm, actually. And I definitely already do feel that it's a little burning, I say. When you come to the Dead Sea, you need to make sure that you do not have any cuts. Do not shave for like at least three days before. Because if you do, ooh, it's going to actually burn like crazy. And also, don't wear any jewelry because it can tarnish jewelry that otherwise would not be tarnished in the, um, you know, like in the regular shower or anything like that. So I definitely do feel that the water is pretty dense. Um, I'm excited to actually take a dip, but I just want to go a little bit. A little bit further um, I did a good thing by thankfully bringing my water shoes because you definitely do feel that there's a lot of rocks on the floor so just keep that in mind when you come over here and it's really slippery so be careful too okay I'm gonna go ahead and take a little seat let's see if it really works Woo! All right, I'm gonna go ahead and sit down. Let's see if I blow. <laughs> it's definitely happening. Oh my god, you have to be careful. You have to be super careful not to get this water into your eyes or onto your face or your nose because it will burn like crazy. So I was told that the best way to experience this is by going ahead and laying down on your back. So let's see if we can do it. I'm scared. I'm scared to get the water in my eyes. There you go. Oh, you definitely do float. Oh, and the water is nice and warm. Not too cold. Not hot. Definitely not hot. But you're just here, enjoying the sun, enjoying the water, and the lowest place on earth. Yeah. 